slow motion cameras are simply dope. Even a simple footage looks super intensified in slow motion. It feels all good and dandy unless you know the price of slow motion cameras. For example, the Flex 4K's price ranges from $109,000 to $164,900 depending on configuration. But why are slow motion cameras so expensive? And are they worth the money? In this video, we are going to answer all questions. So with that being said, let's get started. Slow motion cameras are not like a typical DSLR or mirrorless camera. They need distinct and sophisticated components to function fast and accurately. For example, the Phantom TMX 5010 comes with a sensor that has a throughput rate of 50 gigapixels per second and can shoot a jaw-dropping 1.16 million frames per second, whereas a usual mirrorless camera can shoot around 120 or more or fewer frames per second. And this is not just about the frames. Each frame has colors and other information which the slow motion sensors has to capture at an insanely rapid pace. Besides, high-end slow motion cameras also have to maintain adequate resolution per frame, such as Phantom TMX 7510 provides a whopping 76,000 frames per second at 1280 by 800 resolution. So it is needless to say, a huge amount of data is generated in each second by those high-speed cameras. And the tale doesn't just end here. This enormous amount of data needs to be processed thoroughly, which requires a high-speed and extremely powerful processor. And after processing, those data needs to be stored in a fast, very fast memory. If we take a look at the Phantom TMX5010 camera, it features up to 512GB high-speed RAM. Yes, 512GB. If you only consider the RAM portion, the high price of slow motion cameras will slowly start to get justified to you. Now the question is, where did this high-end sensor, extremely powerful processor, and high-speed storage option come from? The answer is, all of it took a lot of effort in research and development. And a lot of investment has been made by those slow motion camera manufacturing companies into their R&D. Slow motion videos are stunning. Everything looks super hyped in slow motion. For example, a drop of water may be a trivial incident. But when you see it in slow motion, it seems like quite a lot is happening at the same time. But do we need those super slow-mo videos every day? No. We shoot only a handful of videos in slow motion and those are not that super slow motion quality which we usually see in cameras like Phantom Flex 4K. A 120 frames per second or so would be enough for making slow motion videos for most of the people out there. So where exactly are those extreme higher frame rates required? Well. Those are usually used in observing chemical reactions, automotive crash testing, high-speed research of flames, fluids, and heat, military, high-speed machine vision, and of course, Hollywood. All those are big-budget projects and require a high level of accuracy, which can be achieved through top-notch high-speed cameras like Phantom Flex and others. From the discussion so far, it has been clear that the slow motion cameras require more time and budget to manufacture, and sales is the main way to get the exchange of the money, time, and labor, both mental and physical, invested. But unfortunately, slow motion cameras are not a fast moving product like a regular DSLR or mirrorless camera. They are not used as much as a regular camera, and bulk usage is usually required in specialized fields. When the sales are low, the price per product is increased to meet the break-even point which ultimately results in higher retail prices for slow-motion cameras. 
So these are the major reasons why slow motion cameras are so expensive. Though there are a handful of camera manufacturers like Kronos and Free Flyweight slow motion cameras which let you capture slow motion videos, those videos are of lower specs. But if you want high-end slow motion videos like phantom cameras do, you have to invest a lot into it. So what's your opinion about slow motion cameras? Are they worth the money? Let us know in the comment section.